there have been many reports of Galaxy S22 users encountering problems after updating their device. Others even reported that they can't update their phone due to some issues. Sometimes, system updates may go the opposite direction. We know how annoying it is to receive errors when you try to update your device. That's why in this video, we are going to show you how to fix update-related issues with your Galaxy S22. But before we move on, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to support us. Going back to our topic, here are the things you can do. First solution, force restart your device. There can be many forms of update-related issues in a Samsung Galaxy device. If you are experiencing a problem after a system update has been installed, it may be caused by a minor bug. Some temporary bugs are easily fixed by simply restarting the phone, so that should be the first thing you have to do. To do that, simply press and hold the power and volume down buttons for about 10 seconds. This will trigger your phone to shut down and power back up. When the Samsung logo shows on the screen, release both keys and allow it to continue the boot process. After that, try to see if the problem is fixed. If not, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, check your connection. If you are downloading an update and it fails, then it's possible that you just have a connection problem. Thus, the next thing you have to do is to see if that's the case. You can try downloading any app from the Play Store or perform a speed test to know more about the current status of your connection. If you're connected to your home network, you should know the speed you're getting and if you're currently experiencing slow or intermittent connection, then that should be the reason why your phone can't update successfully. You have to fix your internet connection before updating your phone. However, if you have a stable and fast connection, then move on to the next solution. Third solution, check the phone storage. It is also possible that there isn't enough storage space left on your device that's why it can no longer download the update. So after checking your connection and the problem continues, check the storage next. To do that, just launch the settings app. Scroll down to find battery and device care and then tap on it. Now select storage and try to check if your device is actually running low on storage space. If necessary, delete some of your pictures and videos or uninstall some apps you don't use anymore and then try to update your phone. Fourth solution, reset all settings. After doing the previous solutions and your Galaxy S22 still has some update-related issues, then you have to bring all its settings back to their default values without deleting any of your files and data. Here's how it's done. Launch the Settings app and then scroll all the way down. Find and tap General Management. Scroll down a bit and tap Reset. Select Reset All Settings among the other options. Tap the Reset Settings button and enter your security lock if prompted. Now tap Reset to proceed. It will take a few seconds before the reset is completed, and after that, your phone will reboot. After the reboot, you have to reconnect to your home Wi-Fi and then try downloading the update again. If it still fails, then you have to do the next solution. Fifth solution, factory reset your phone. Apparently, there's an issue with your phone's system and you need to reset it so that it can download and install the new update. But before doing that, make sure to create a backup of your important files and data as they will be deleted. Now to reset your phone, you just have to navigate to Settings and General Management again. Scroll down a bit and tap Reset. This time, select Factory Data Reset and on the next screen, scroll down and tap Reset. If prompted, enter your security lock to confirm your identity. Tap Delete All. On the next screen, enter your Google ID password and tap OK to proceed. It might take a minute or two before your phone finishes the reset, but it will prompt you to set it up once it's finished. After the setup, download the new update before recovering your apps and data. And that's pretty much it. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help you. Thanks for watching.